Now, let's talk about matters concerning your health this, on this fine Tuesday morning. And as we talk about your health, we want to focus on one particular group of people, our pregnant mothers. Are you expecting to, uh, a child very soon? Are you expecting a baby? Are you ex an expectant parent? I would like you to have a conversation with me this fine morning. Now, when you talk about pregnancy women, sometimes you can have pregnancy complications. And this is the conversation that we're about to have, pregnancy complications. When pregnancy arises, sometimes there's those fears that you may have. And because of fear, you don't know which stage you will move from the first, second, and the last. In this conversation, let's talk about how you can best answer those questions that you have after you've seen a gynecologist. What are the things that you should be doing? What are the things that complicate your pregnancy even further? Is it hypertension? High blood pressure? Is it uh, um, diabetes? Infections? Let's talk about these pregnancy complications, ladies and gentlemen. And joining me in studio, I am with the uh, uh, the one and only Dr. Washira Murage. He is a consultant obs obstetrician and gynecologist. Dr. Tari, thank you so much for, for finding time to join me today. Thank you very much. And uh, as we start this conversation, we shall divide it into two. One, first trimester, second trimester, and the third. My name is Ram Maguko. Thank you for choosing Good Morning Kenya as your number one station this fine Tuesday morning. Engage with us, ask your questions, and we shall be able to answer them with Dr. Tari here. First things first, Dr. Tari. How does someone prepare for pregnancy? Thank you. Thank you very much. As you said, I'm Dr. Ashira Murage, mm. and I work at uh, Kenyatta National Hospital and also at... Um, Savannah Hospital mm -hmm. and thank you for having me um, preparation for pregnancy yes starts even before you're pregnant to avoid complications you need to focus on pregnancy even before you get pregnant mm -hmm. in terms of financing where will you go for your hospital do you have any history that portrays complications like diabetes, yes. hypertension, yes. previous surgeries. What is your diet? What is your exercise? So it's a journey that needs to be prepared before what we call preconceptional, and then starting the clinics early. As, right? how, 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 uh, as how early, early as you realize that you're pregnant. Very, very important. So when does preparation start? Is it before you realize that you're pregnant? <laughs> yes, or, it's or, before you realize. Or, or once you realize that you're pregnant? Before, before you realize. Of course, there are many pregnancies. In fact, many pregnancies come as what we call oops babies. Yes. You just realize you're pregnant. Mm. But ideally, if you want to avoid complications, you start planning even before in terms of what are you eating? Mm -hmm. Are you exercising? What's your BMI? The BMI is, um, is, is, the, is the relationship between height and weight, mm -hmm. you know? So that because if you're obese, if you're overweight and you get pregnant, chances are that you're high risk in terms of development of the hypertension that we shall talk about. Mm -hmm. There are complications, right, of course. Um, uh, things like diabetes. Mm -hmm. So that preparation starts early. But as soon as you get a positive pregnancy test, yes. and you are going to see the reasons, mm -hmm. then see your medical uh, provider as early as that time to get you started, mm -hmm. to even treat you and train you. Mm -hmm. What are the expectations for the first trimester? Yes. What are the expectations for the second and third Trimester. trimester. Now, yes. Dr. When, when you mentioned that, um, let's um, help Kenyans today. Yes. Okay. Now, how do you select a facility so that you avoid complications? Uh, what you normally say is that a facility that is near you, accessible. Mm -hmm. You're thinking of um, family first at home. Yes. Okay. Yes. Because the complications of pregnancy normally will start at home. Mm -hmm. The second uh, area that complications in pregnancy may affect is during transport from home to the facility. Mm -hmm. You're looking at, do you have your transport ready? Where do you stay? How are the infrastructure? It should be as close as possible. It should be as close as possible. Or if it's far, 
then of course you have your transport ready. If you're not driving or if you're driving, where is your car? Is it with your spouse at work? Mm -hmm. If it's very far, maybe they have traveled or they're at work. Is there another alternative, you know, modes of transport that you can do? You can have that. Because okay. the second issue is normally now in the facility. When you arrive in the facility, how fast are you transported to? Is there a theater? Is there a doctor? Is there a queue? And all those things. So that's, those are the things that you're supposed to really look at. And of course, the financing. You should prepare your financing very early. Are you using the NHIF? Are you using an insurance? Are you cash based? So in relation to that, then which hospital? Do, they, do those hospitals have packages? Like now in Savannah Hospital, we have packages that are quite you know, affordable. And other hospitals have packages. So look at all those packages in different hospitals. So you know that, are you, is it out of pocket? How is your health financing aspect? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Out of pocket, insurance, NHIF, vis-a-vis -vis now what is available in the hospitals so that you're able to plan. Because that's the other issue that normally brings a lot of problems okay. and adds to the complications that the mothers get. Wow, wow. Now let's yeah. break it down. Yes. Let's break it down. Three into three groups, as I yes. mentioned earlier. Yeah. First, second, mm -hmm. and third trimester. Yeah. Quickly, because of uh, the interest of time. Yeah. Um, tell me about the complications that occur in the first trimester and how mm. they can be avoided. Yes. Um, in case one is wondering what are these trimesters you are talking about, because they're not semesters that you have in the exactly. university. <laughs> yes. <laughs> these are these are periods, you know, from from zero to around fourteen weeks, from fourteen weeks to twenty eight weeks. That serves some, something like seven months, mm -hmm. and then from twenty eight weeks to forty weeks. That's the third. That's, that's the third trimester. So yeah. first trimester, what we fear most is is miscarriages, and spontaneous abortions, and ectopics. Those are what we fear most. Uh, but, uh, but define that. Just define that again. You've mentioned miscarriage. Yes. And you've mentioned spontaneous abortions. abortions. Those are the same. They're you're, the same thing. You're saying that you're losing a pregnancy before viability, before it is viable. It occurs in the first trimester. In the first trimester. And right. it can go up to around 28 weeks. We still mention abortion, pregnancy loss, spontaneous abortion, to be mm -hmm. clear, mm -hmm. uh, in, you know, before viability. In our setup, viability is about 28 weeks. So any, any loss of pregnancy before 28 weeks can be regarded as a spontaneous abortion or a pregnancy loss or a miscarriage for that matter. Mm -hmm. But now you're talking about where it's more common, the first trimester, and it comes with bleeding, it comes with pain and spotting. So as soon as, as a mother and as family realize that there is that happening, there is pain, there is porting, let us seek a device immediately. Mm -hmm. And why I say so is ectopic pregnancy. That is pregnancy which is out of the womb, happening in other areas. The commonest area is, is the tubes. It can um, come that way. So um, when it happens outside the, yes. the womb, so it yes. means it... Um, the feet has attached itself yes, in a place where itself. it should not have yes. attached itself on. Yes, that's, that's, it happens. You see, after fertilization, the egg should be able to move into the uterus as okay. early as about three days or thereabout. Okay. If there's a delay beyond that certain period in which it's supposed to be into the uterus, it starts to attach and grow where it is. Mm -hmm. And basically, that, the, what happens is that if it's outside the pregnant, uh, outside the uterus, it is somewhere else, then that is an ectopic pregnancy. Can that be detected early enough? It can be detected early enough if the patient, the, um, the mother rather, the, the family, and of course the health providers are able to have that index of suspicion. Because ectopic pregnancy can be very, very tricky. We are talking of it behaving, giving us pain. Pain can be in a tract infection. Mm -hmm. Pain can be maybe a miscarriage. Pain can be appendicitis. And then of course there's bleeding. So the doctor has to have a very high index of suspicion mm -hmm. because with that it's going to really help the doctor to quickly establish where it's coming from. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So that's the yeah. first trimester. That's the first trimester. Apart from, so those are the only issues that uh, um, are li more likely to cause um, yes. uh, complications. Yes. For the, the interest trimester. of time, yes. um, uh, are uh, the first trimester, mm. uh, bleeding, pain, miscarriage, ectopic 
mm -hmm. are the commonest, the commonest in the first trimester. And so, those are what we tell the mothers to be really uh, keen about. But, but then there are mothers who um, end up believing that sometimes you bleed because of implant, the implantation process yes. of the fetus. Yes. Is that normal? Is that a viable uh, you know, reasoning? It happens. And we normally tell the mothers, let it be for us to tell them that was implantation bleeding. Or oh, for you? For the doctor. Okay. So as soon as your mother, the first trimester, there's some spotting, see the doctor. Immediately. Don't say, ah, it's implantation bleeding. It can be a topic, and a topic can be fatal. It can be uh, a miscarriage okay. happening. And All that right. if you come early, we're able to do something. All right. Yes. Let's, let, let's move to the second trimester. Yes. A very important area there. Yeah. Uh, there are those who say that second, the second trimester is a safe period. Yes. Is that true? Second trimester is not necessarily a very safe period. Mm -hmm. there, are, is, there, there are key things that I would want to mention at this particular time. Okay. The pregnancies yes. that are lost in the first trimester normally are pregnancies that are not viable. Yes. Right from the outset, infertilization in their growth, something happens and they are not growing, mm -hmm. they are not viable. Pregnancies that happen in the second trimester are already grown and they have the features that they are going to succeed in terms of going forward into, into a normal pregnancy. Yes. But something happens. The commonest thing that happens during that time is cervical incompetence. What is that? The cervix opens for mm -hmm. some reason. Some mothers we know maybe they had had maybe some pregnancy terminations, maybe, maybe they had some procedures uh, in, in, in the cervix, mm. maybe they had early signs of cancer and therefore the cervix was operated in a way so it became weak. Maybe they were born that way. It's an inherent problem. So cervical incompetence. Mm -hmm. And if gotten early, as I said, for a mother, if they get pain, they get some spotting, right? they should be able to see the doctor. So if the doctor discovers that the cervix is opening, we can quickly do a stitch. We call a McDonald's stitch. So regardless of the cause, the doctor can help? Can help. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. For cervical incompetence. Mm -hmm. The other common thing that we need to mention during this time is increased uh, blood pressure, mm -hmm. what we call preeclampsia, mm -hmm. which we now believe is, is a very, very uh, common problem in our setup. Mm -hmm. And it comes with generalized body swelling, comes with some very severe headaches, you may have some abdominal pains, and the blood pressure goes 140 over 90 and above. Mm -hmm. So preeclampsia, especially from 20 weeks, is a very, very common problem we cannot fail uh, to, to mention in the second um, so trimester. Uh, are we saying that it is expected 100% of pregnant women will at some point have high blood pressure? No. No. Okay. It's in a few women. A few? A few women. Maybe about 15% or thereabout mm -hmm. or less, but it's a very, very serious complication. In fact, if you visit our hospitals, yes. you'll find that in our, in our, in our, in our, you know, in our intensive care units, you'll find mothers there with complications of this preeclampsia. It is now uh, the leading cause of maternal and neonatal morbidity and mortality. What that means, mm -hmm. it causes pregnancy wastage, it causes extreme sickness to the mothers, mm -hmm. it kills our babies, it brings a lot of prematurity, it contributes a lot to the admissions in the newborn unit. All right. Yeah, so it does not, it, it, it must not happen to other mothers, but very, very important the way it starts, the way it progresses, mm -hmm. so that as mothers, because today we are learning, if a mother you start getting unusual headaches, mm -hmm. you find the body is swelling unusually, okay? And you may get some upper epigastric pain. Mm -hmm. See the doctor. Let them do urinalysis because in the urine you're going to get some proteins. Yes. Let them do some blood pressure and see that if it's 140 over 90, let them start you some treatment. Let them guide you because now you need closer observation, okay. closer visits to the clinic, and even 
sometimes we may need to start planning for delivery. Sometimes we may, we may need even to give some injections to mature the lungs of the baby so that in case you need to deliver it, then you have already matured the lungs of the baby. So no. it is not all mothers that develop preeclampsia. Just some, 15 percent. Some, but it's on a rising thread and it is causing a lot of havoc to our mothers. And can, you, can you move the third trimester now? Yes, right? we can. Well, yeah, the, uh, yeah. Mention complications yeah. in the so, third so, trimester. So um, uh, that trimester, again, uh, yes. very, very important. Mm. Things like premature labor. Yes. Yeah, can come. Mm -hmm. You're still talking about the preeclampsia now going on. This to the to the to the third trimester, mm -hmm. which you need now to plan. You are talking about gestational diabetes also now coming up, all right? Mm -hmm. uh, gestational diabetes is where you have these mothers developing diabetes which they do not have, mm -hmm. and why we mentioned that the issue of a successful pregnancy starts before they conceive mm -hmm. is that you are able to pick mothers who are high risk for these complications. For example, wow. yes. if a mother is obese, if a mother has come from a family of diabetics, okay, mm. if a mother is used to getting big babies, okay, mm. then you can't be able to plan and see this mother is, 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 is a high, I mean, is a candidate, a very possible candidate for gestational diabetes, which normally will come from around, uh, you know, second, towards the end of second trimester and, and wow. third, Trimester. And of course, premature labor, which mm -hmm. can also come, mm -hmm. steel buds, uh, yes. you know, where you lose babies mm -hmm. at around that time, also comes around the third trimester. Dr. Ari, time is not on our side. If someone wants to get a hold of you, how can they do that? Um, I'm available. Mm -hmm. As I said, I work at Kenyatta National Hospital and also at Savannah Hospital, um, Upper Hill, Mara Road. And my number is 0722764545. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah. Now, we have not tackled many of these things, ladies and gentlemen. I know some, <laughs> I can say people are really <laughs> uh, attentive, but uh, Dr. Ari, because of the interest of time, we'll call you again. Thank you. We sh need to uh, break these things down. Thank you so much, Dr. That is Dr. Washira Morage, obstetrician and uh, gynecologist. Well, it is on that note that we we'll bring this conversation to a close. My name is Ram Maguko. Still, I know you have many questions to ask. We shall have this conversation again. May God bless you. God bless the work of your hands. Keep uh, tuned in to KBC for more of our programming. Bye-bye.